this came to my mind yesterday, but I could not really format things right, really put things in words. Like, I can think of it or I can understand it in my mind, but <laughs> explaining it, it was quite hard. So let me try again. There are some people who are serving God now, following his rules and regulations. There may be some people who know about God, but they are spiritually lazy. So let's say that there is person A and person B. Let's say that person A is a true Christian. This person fast, prays, read the Bible, so on and so on. Let's say that there is person B and person B knows about God and what to do to get close to God, but they are lazy. They don't want to do it. So what person B does is pretty much drains the energy of person A. So doing that to receive from God other than praying, reading the Bible, and fasting on their own. So, and I am not saying this to offend anyone, but person B is like a spiritual vampire. They know what to do, but they are so lazy, they rather receive from other people. As in, getting people to pray for them all the time, getting people to fast for them, getting people to do things for them other than doing what it takes to build a relationship with God. Listen. If you are a true Christian and you run into people like this, you need to stay away from people like that because they are going to drain you. They are going to waste your time. You can use that time and energy to help other people who wants to change. There are people that may say that they want to change, but in truth, they want you to carry them. You don't carry people. You, you help people, but you don't carry them. I can give you the shovel. I can tell you how to use it. But what you are not going to do is tell me, dig this hole. No, you have the shovel. I am digging my own hole. Why should I dig a hole for you? No, you do it yourself. Let's go to James chapter four, verse eight. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the expanded Bible. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. What comes to my mind, and I can be wrong, I can be wrong, and I am sorry if I am wrong. But what comes to my mind, some people who may talk with me or contact me, And I can be wrong about this. Some of them 
don't want to sacrifice. They want, in so many words, a piggyback ride. Pretty much <laughs> jump on a person's back <laughs> and let them carry you. Now, maybe I can do it with one person, two people, not 10 people or 20 people, no. Because I am going to fall. So what are you going, what are we going to do if I fall? No. I can only carry, other true Christians can only carry so much weight. What this is telling me, draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. What this is saying, if you make the effort, I am going to help you. Do you believe that you can serve God without his help? What this is saying, hey, I know that you may do things wrong, but if you make the effort, I can help you. But if you are not willing to make the effort, how can I help you? Freedom of will. Freedom of will. So if you choose not to try to come to me, how can I help you? This is saying, make the effort. Yes, you may fail, blah, blah, blah. As long as you continue to make the effort, God is going to help you. How did I change? Do you believe I changed on my own? Of course not. It took God to help me because I was in so much sin. You are trying to think in things in an earthly way, believing that, hey, how can I do this all by myself? You can't. You have to make the effort. Kevin, this is hard. This is blah, blah, blah. Yes, it is hard. But you aren't doing it alone. Man, please listen. So stop being a vampire. Stop draining true Christians of what they have of God. Yes, it is okay to ask for prayer. It is okay to ask for help. But if this is ongoing and you are not doing things on your own, no, no. Listen, what if, <laughs> what if, you are trying to teach a child how to tie their shoes. And you spend hours teaching that child how to tie their shoes. Let's say they learn it. But they say, Kevin, I refuse to tie my shoes. Continue to tie my shoes for me. Why would you do that? Kevin, I know what to do, but hey, it is going to take effort to tie my shoes and hey, I am so lazy, I am so inconsiderate that I don't want to do things on my own, but I want to overwork you or other true people of God to do it for me. Do you see how crazy that is? But if I am not willing to tie your shoes, if other true Christians aren't willing to tie your shoes, then you get this crazy attitude, this really silly attitude. You are supposed to be a Christian. <laughs> Let me stop here. So if you have forgotten everything I have said, what this is saying, make the effort. Yes, you are going to fail. 
but continue to make the effort. And I am telling you, God is going to help you because you can't live for God on your own. You need his help. Let me stop here. God bless you.